Okay, we are recording. Hello and welcome to the uh, Bradford Rand Institute. Now, as you may recall, my colleagues and I recently travelled to Billund, home of Lego HQ, uh, where we retrieved the first of what we believe will be seven uh, mysterious craft uh, constructed entirely of Lego. We are yet to discover and unravel its mysteries. So that is why we have put a call into Lego HQ. Uh, we asked them to send one of their designers ASAP uh, to the Bradford Rand Institute to help us get to the bottom of this craft. So, without further ado, let's call in uh, Torben uh, Mildrew, I believe. Uh, uh, come in here and uh, let's show you what we have. Torben uh, Mildrew. Torben Mildrew. Who? Mildrew. Doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's have a look. Uh, Gunther, will you do the honours, please? Can you tell us what we're looking at? Um, I must say I'm uh, curious to see what. Uh, where did you get this from? Well, as I said, we found it in uh, in Billund, quite close to where you're based, I believe. Open it gently like this, and that's where it's supplied. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's a, a mini fig, but uh, again, I must say uh, that is uh, a little unusual. This is not a, a mini fig uh, made in uh, in uh, Billund. This print here we have uh, we've never made. Uh, Take a look at the face. That's right. And uh, we have never made this face. This oh. is, uh, I can tell you, this is not made uh, in, uh, in Bulon. That is 100%. The plot thickens. Uh, let's take a look at some enlargements we've recently made of some of these uh, of some of these bricks. Let me get your inside track on these. That's this one. Uh, yes, that is um, a Lego brick, um, silver colored. Um, we use in. Uh, in, uh, in some sets. So a fairly regular brick. Yes, definitely. Uh, this one? Oh yeah, that is uh, that is more uh, of a rare brick. Um, uh, this bronze uh, color we don't use a lot, so that is uh, that is only in, uh, in even one set, I think. And this one? That is... Um, it's a 2 by 4 Yeah, that is exactly a 2 by 4 uh, studs uh, blue plate. Um, Where is that on the model? I believe it's here and here. They were really good. That is that is strange. Um, here because here. Uh, I can tell you for a fact that that brick brick uh, does not exist. Well, you cannot buy this brick. No, you cannot uh, buy it uh, because uh, it is simply not uh, existing. But it, it quite clearly does exist. It exists thusly. Final brick. Um, this one. What on earth? Yeah, that's uh, also uh, that is a brick that uh, does not exist either. I've been working with Lego for uh, 15 years, and uh, I know all the bricks. And normally, when we construct a uh, Lego, we uh, start with a layer and we build in one direction. Yeah, maybe this is a little bit uh, uh, scientific for you, mm -hmm. but uh, well, I'm a scientist. Torben. Oh yeah, that's Torbu. Uh, Mulby. Torben Mulby. Um, and you can see it builds in uh, in in six directions. It builds uh, like this and this, and you go in that direction. Mm -hmm. So it's like a cross. Um, and so that is, is uh, something is uh, we don't do at Lego. Skills beyond our, your comprehension. I wouldn't say that, but uh, I would say it's uh, it's strange to look at. If our theories prove 100% correct, we uh, we believe the second craft will be landing sometime in early December. As you can see, we are currently scanning and analyzing the part. We don't have the results yet, but once we have them, we will post them at breitfeldrand.org. Thank you, Gunther. And also thank you to our esteemed guest from LEGO, uh, T. Bohr Munchen. Um, uh, Tom Mölby. Not quite. Uh, thank you so much for coming down here and helping us uh, get, to, uh, get to where we are. We've, uh, I believe, unraveled a little bit more of the mystery. And uh, thank you for checking us out here at bradfordrand.org. Together we can uh, unravel this mystery once and for all.